Latinas, coast to coast. You are listening to Cynthia and Jamile Sazonadoras. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> it's Latinas, coast to coast. Woo. And we are literally coast to coast. Together. Yes, we I are. Finally got to meet you in person. I Isn't know. Isn't that weird? I know. It is so weird. Anyways. I'm here with Yamile. Tell me where you came from. Oh, Yamile comes from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm Cynthia from San Jose, California, and we're here at UPW Palm Beach. That's right, baby, UPW. Palm Beach, Florida, it's going United down. States of America. <laughs> and it has been going down. It's so incredible. Just the energy, the power. I mean, really, kind of Florida, I think, is part of Latin America. What do you think? Heck, yeah. Have you been seeing a lot of Latinos around? I know. Necesitamos unos cubanos. Yo, you, I haven't met any Cubanos, but a bunch of Colombians. Colombia's like half of it is, is tilted. I think half of you guys are here, which is amazing. It is, it is. And this is totally like an intense four-day conference where you're off the hook, energy up here to up there, and achieving a stuff that is outstanding, finding your, your core values, who you are, shedding things off that have been held, holding you back mentally, mm. not necessarily physically, but giving you that edge so that you can go out and accomplish and be the best version of yourself. And being, you know, Latinas coast to coast, we want to bring this energy to you. So we just want to, yeah, share some of that. And the Great, great thing is Yamila is crewing this, which means she's doing way more hours than anyone that's showing up here. I don't know. What are you doing? Like 60 hours in four days? I don't know. I haven't even counted because I'm like a zombie walking around. But you know what? We could fill up with energy at any time just like that. And that is what is so exciting. Que a cualquier hora se pueda agregar sazón. Sí. <laughs> So one quick thing I want to share is for those that don't know how Yamile and I got together is it was honestly through UPW New York. I saw her post online of the massive action that she was taking, how she was drastically changing her life. And I said, oh my gosh, that is a Latina that I need to talk to. Right. And I reached out to her and like she said, we just met in person this week, mm -hmm. but we developed a friendship, a connection, like our lives are like this, right? because we have so much in common, we want something greater for ourselves, but we also want to share and give those yes. insights back to our community. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what have you changed since UPW New York? So one of the biggest changes was that I left my job. I was in education for 18 years. I was an assistant principal uh, for two and a half years. And people thought, man, you're crazy. How do you even leave that so that you could start a nonprofit, so you could start a business? And let me tell you, it wasn't until I was able to identify who I really was that I allowed myself to be that. You know, one of the craziest limiting beliefs that I had, can you imagine what it was? No, tell me. In the summertime, one of my limiting beliefs and this was 41 years of it, I thought I wasn't Latina. ¿Tú crees? What? ¿Tú crees? Oh my gosh. I wasn't Snack Latina. You. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> Yo soy Latina, mija. But it was because I allowed all those voices, everything say, look, I mean, you could tell the difference. I'm almost six feet tall. And a lot of Latinos will say, wait, honey, you're not the Latina because you're too big. Or you're not Latina because you don't speak like us. But listen, Latinas come in all forms, shapes, sizes, colors, uh, feelings, all that stuff. So once I was able to let go of the limiting belief that I was not Latina, the Latinas Finas de las Carolinas was created. And mm -hmm. that is where the power was to say, you know what, not just there, but let's bump it up to Latinas coast to coast. That's right. And it just, honestly, it was something that happened organically between yes. her and I. It was just something, I was drawn to the passion, and I said, you know, there's something there that 
excuse me, I'm gonna close that. <laughs> There's something there that is is just I'm I was drawn to it and we talked and it just it just clicked. And for me, you know, I'm all about I, I wanna change people's lives. And by doing this, Yamile and I, we are impacting lives. And there's so much that has happened in the last 18 mm -hmm. months in my life that I, I can't even tell you where to start about it, but pretty much my partner had cancer. He's cured, he's fine, he's great. I wanted to take care of myself, so I went to UPWLA. I came back energized thinking, yes, I wanna eat plant-based. I'm on high energy peak state, baby. Mm -hmm. And then my my family was like, Debbie Downers, just like, oh, what's peak state? Ooh, you're on a yeah. vegan yeah. diet. And I'm like, fuck you. A vegan <laughs> diet, yeah. somos Latinas. Where's the rice and beans, baby? Oh, the rice and beans are oh, there. Oh, it's still oh, there. Okay, sorry, there. that's how much I know about <laughs> What about the <laughs> carne asada? What about the bye bye. chuletas? Oh bye my bye. God. And you know, so anyways, I went there and then I went to, I was able to get them to go to New York and that's when the, just the momentum happened because the family that was not supportive of me got to feel the excitement and the energy and they knew I wasn't lying about what's happening here, mm. that lives are being transformed, mm. layers of just limited beliefs, limiting beliefs, things that have held you back mm. are just shed. It's this onion that is peeled. And so now that is blossoming is an example, me and Yamile right here. Mm -hmm. We've blossomed from jobs that dreams are coming together. Dreams are coming together. Yes. And this is part of us giving back. We want to share with you what has happened, what we're doing. And the other piece that's happened is that something I've been really trying to dream big is on a business, right? And I've thought, oh, who's going to want to listen to me? There's no one that's going to want to hear what I have to say. And I'm happy to say that, yes, I have a business that's starting. It's called Genuine Spark. And it's going to be about finding your goals, knowing what those goals are and being held accountable to them so that you can achieve your dream, so that you'll have your own treasure map. And here, Latinas, coast to coast, I mean, who knows what's next, right? Yeah. Right now, this is us. What is it? Three, four months? Yeah, three, four months. Yeah, yeah three, four months. What's That's crazy true. is that, that, so what she's wanting to do, this business about the accountability is what I'm hearing, something that, that be able to say, you know what, this is who you are already. We're not trying to say, listen, let's add a little bit of this, let's add a bit of that, so that you can be even better, because you already are the best you. But what we do is be able to kind of crank it up and say, look, let's take, into another, let's take you to another level. And uh, actually, it's funny because you've used me as a guinea pig. And she'll be like, well, let's try it out. It's a perfect time to learn. I'm like, technology is not necessarily my savviness. That's not what I do. But the fact that she challenges me, and it's okay. Está bien, mujeres. Porque juntas somos poderosas. Mm -hmm. Together, we are really strong. And instead of the cattiness and say, oh, my gosh, she thinks she looks so good. And she thinks, oh, because the glasses and stuff. She No, listen. It's together that we're going to be able to kick ass because ya es hora para Latinas to take over. Ya es hora for your Latina power to come out in fears. And so actually what I want to share is even though I left my job to start a nonprofit, which is kicking ass, the <laughs> analytics that I have on uh, Facebook and, and also the website, I mean, it's just so incredible how many Latinas are like, I'm here please show me, please, mm -hmm. please help me, help me, be not because soy bobita or tontica or I need a tortillita, but because I am incredible too. And so what Latinas Finas did is it's announcing all those Latina leaders that are in there. So since that, I've also been working on my own certainty. What is it that I know how to do well? Mm -hmm. And I found out what it is I know how to do well. I can because I have transformed schools and their scores. My scores, a minimum to know that you're okay, is showing 10% growth for student data. And what I've shown is over 20% growth. And it is because I see in those little gangsters, I see in those little Latinas, in those little brown kids, I see something that they don't see, that the media doesn't see, public schools don't see. I see that and I help bring that out. And I help with teachers understanding to be able to look at that. So I am so proud to announce that very soon, actually in the beginning of the year, we will have McBride Somos Consultants. We are educational strategists and Somos because we are. So I'm super excited. ¿Qué crees? ¿Qué crees? I, I'm ex I, you know what? Let me just give you a little bit of stats, okay? Yeah. Um, 
there are less than 3% of Latina women in the C-suite, okay? Mm -hmm. Imagine someone getting these services because not only that, but I also want to share that in the Silicon Valley, in the Bay Area, Latino students are the ones that are lagging behind yes. in math and science. Yes. And that's in the Bay Area. You live in North Carolina. It's the, it's the lowest. It is the lowest. We actually have 46% of the Latinos in just my little county are impoverished. And those are the ones that are failing. We have over 72% in North Carolina that are dropping out of high school. I'm not asking you guys to go to college. Listen, college is not for everyone. But what I am asking is get your high school diploma. Now, if you already came out, GEDs are perfect. But listen, you have such a wealth of beauty, of passion, of desires, guys. You you can do so much just get in touch with me and I'll tell you how and here's the here's the kicker the big kicker is this is three to four months in after attending a four-day conference four days take four days of your life mm -hmm. wouldn't you change it for the better yeah okay yeah she's take, talking about consultancy for schools mm -hmm. we're talking about reaching out to Latinas, just here telling you our stories on what we're doing. Right. And you know what, let me tell you, we all have some sad stories. Sure. I'm tired of the sad stories. If I wanna see something negative, I'll turn on the freaking news. Come on. Okay, I'm talking about, I wanna hear your accomplishments. Yes. And this is just the start, okay? Take a moment, take a deep breath, yes. think, what is your dream? You can do that dream, That's but you right. gotta step up and take the first step. Porque sabes que si sí se puede. Siempre. Si sí okay. se puede. And from Latinas coast to coast, Latinas finas de las Carolinas, from genuine spark, lean in Latinas that I'm a director of marketing at. And oh my gosh, tell us the name of your business that you're launching again. It is Mabride Somos Consultants, educational strategist for the best. And we're gonna go ahead and share descriptions on where to find us so that you can reach out to us because you want, we wanna give you hugs, we wanna give you high fives, we wanna give you a kick in the ass to go and get things done. Exactamente. So until then. Ciao. Bye.